high school, man, I, I, was, I hung out with like a bunch of people. I thought they were like the funniest people ever, but we did a lot of dumb things. One day, my one of my friends, Danny, he, he decided he was gonna decide to buy ghost peppers for the whole squad, man. He bought a bag of ghost peppers. I think it was like 20 or 30 ghost peppers, something like that. Like it, it was insane. It was a really like, it was a lot of ghost peppers. That's all. That's all I can say about it, really. So we did a lot of them things. We were just mess around, dude. So my friend had all these ghost peppers, man. We were all ready to suffer. It was like 8 a.m. It was before like classes even started. We were all like, we were kind of prepared to die. If you guys, if you guys have tried ghost peppers, they're not exactly fun to eat. So we all decided to eat a freaking ghost pepper before class even started. So going into first period, we weren't feeling that great. I mean, our mouths were on fire. I mean, I don't know why. I don't know if it was just me or if this was happening to everybody. But like after a while, like once, like once we had completely digested the ghost pepper, like my stomach started hurting. Like I, I was in first period. I had the worst stomach ache of my life. I don't know what was going on. I don't know if it was something I did. I don't know if it was just the ghost pepper. So that beginning of the day, I was just hurting, man. The whole day, I was just, I was, I was not in it. So first period, man. The whole, the whole like first period, I was just like on my desk. I was, I had my head down. I wasn't feeling good. You know, I give me, it gave me a headache too. It was, it was not, it was not a good day for me. It was at least not a good start of the day for me. I might, I mean, that headache was so bad. My head was pounding. I was sweating from the spice. I was doing everything. Like it was all bad. So during the lunch break, someone had like this really cool idea that just like, oh, okay, let's let's go to try to get one of the teachers to do it, you know, to eat the ghost pepper. So we all, or most of us thought like we should get one of the teachers that was like really stuck up or something like that. But we 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 decided, you know, like they were gonna go through with it. They wouldn't be be down to try this ghost pepper. So we ended up taking the ghost pepper to a, a, one of our history teachers. It was a, it was like a our history teacher that he was like a hippie back in the day. He would always be telling us stories like when he didn't want to teach a lesson or something like that. He'd always be telling us stories that of how like you know how it was back in the day, stuff like that. You know he that's the stuff he'd be talking about. He was a very like you know calm like relaxed teacher that that, that kind of didn't really care about what people did and stuff like that. So we went to the teacher's classroom and we we told him, you know what, like during lunch, I guess he held like a, a kind of like a club meeting at his, in his classroom. So there were people there and we, we didn't really expect there to be other people there. So we didn't, we didn't know what to do. Once we saw people there, we, we kind of tried to talk him like, oh my God, you have all these people watching you. You aren't going to do it. That, that, that sucks. You know, you should do it for them, you know, do it for the bind kind of stuff. You know, we tried convincing him like, oh yeah, you need to do it. But I don't know what what had happened, but he somehow turned this on us, and he did like some insane reverse psychology that I, I don't even know what happened. I tried asking everybody else that was there, like, yo, how did he get us to do this? But he ended up getting me and my friends to do the ghost pepper challenge again for the second time that day in front of like a whole like classroom full of people. I'm being completely honest with you guys. Like, I don't know how he did it. I don't re even remember what he said. He probably did like some Houdini things in there. So after we ate the ghost pepper for the second time and we were standing there just thinking like, you know, how did this happen? How did this, this, after we gave up on trying to find out how he did commit us to eat the ghost pepper for the second time that day, we went back to the classroom. We were like, whoa, 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 whoa. We can't be having this. We can't be having us eat it twice. And, and you convinced us and you you didn't even try it man like that that's pretty messed up if i do say so myself we got our teacher to eat the ghost pepper and then after a while uh i guess it was like five minutes before the lunch break we had ended and my cousin had him for another class that was right after the lunch break so he told me that he didn't even lecture that class he didn't teach anything that he was just on his desk like trying to breathe and all that like he could he was having trouble like because I guess the ghost pepper was so spicy for him. I mean, it was pretty spicy for me too, but I, I'm, I actually like spicy food. And I, I handled it, I guess, pretty well. Now, I'm not going to say I handled it the best, but I handled it pretty well. But for him, I guess he, he couldn't even talk the following uh, class. And he was just sitting there in like pain that he, he didn't even talk. So on, on the bright side, we kind of tortured our teacher a bit. And he did. He, we kind of saved like 30 or 40 students from... From having to do work. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed, please don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I'm beat. I'm out late.